Well, I'm here with one of India's top grandmasters, Grandmaster Setu Raman. Setu, uh, you're playing at the inter-unit PSPB tournament, a very important event for you. It's been how many years since you have been part of ONGC? So, uh, I joined ONGC at the year of 2012. So, it has been like... Uh, 10 years almost. 10 years almost, yeah. Uh, it has been great support for uh, me as well as other players. And uh, this is one tournament where we get to meet the, all our friends at one place and uh, also sometimes we have training camps and get together and also we work together. So this, this has been a good uh, thing for chess. You know, going back in time, uh, you were born in 94, right? 93. 93. And in 2012, you got employed. So you were 19 years old at that point. Yeah. It would have been a very critical juncture. You would be roughly around 2600 at that point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was 2600 at that point. And uh, like I said, uh, uh, it was a great financial support at that time. Uh, so. Uh, how, how was your financial situation like uh, in general? Did you have a sponsor at that point? No, I was not having a sponsor. Uh, and uh, so at the time, it was very important. Uh, to get uh, support from the oil companies, like there are a lot of oil companies here. You can see ONGC, IOC, DPCL, and uh, these uh, these uh, strong uh, companies were recruiting strong players from all over the country. And I was very lucky to get into ONGC. Probably uh, I was the last one to get recruited uh, there. Yeah. So now it's, uh, it's a bit uh, uh, because the economy is not easy, but uh, they are looking to recruit more players because now you can see there are so many young players. Yeah. Like Arjun, uh, Raunak and uh, Aragon, they are not having this kind of job. But Even Narayanan. Yeah, Narayanan of course. And uh, I hope they would also uh, get into this uh, company. So, uh, as a top player, do you think that the support from ONGC, you get paid a monthly salary? Yes. Plus you, are, you get to go to some tournaments which are covered by them? Yeah, uh, like in a year you get to play some two to three abroad tournaments which is covered by... Uh, as well as and of course, uh, monthly salary, like you mentioned. Uh, sometimes we do have training camps with the uh, foreign grandmasters, uh, and also we do have camp among ourselves. So it, it is a really good thing. Yeah. So, so do you think that much is enough for a player like you who is trying to reach 2700, or do you think you need uh, uh, extra sponsorship, or you think ONGC plus prize money is sufficient? I don't think it's not definitely enough. Uh, of course, it, it would be ideal to get more uh, sponsors, uh, but of course, something is better than nothing. Yes? <laughs> uh, I mean, when uh, we were growing up, this was not that popular, I would say. So, only these oil companies were recruiting the players. It was a great boon for us. Uh, I mean, of course, to have many sponsors, uh, it's ideal. Uh, I mean, because, you know, they yeah, are the trainers' fees and all those things. It's very tough without uh, many sponsors coming in. And I hope it's just booming now. Thanks to you. I hope more sponsors get attracted to the game and uh, the players will have individual sponsors. It would be very nice. So, so in a way, the best combination would be to have an individual sponsor yeah. plus uh, uh, an oil company which supports you. Tremendous. Well, Setu, uh, thank you for you know speaking with us because I think for a lot of young players who are coming up, it's, uh, it's an open question as to how to make a stable living through chess. And I think in your case, ONGC played a big role.